okay so this particular question is question 15 on the downloadable worksheet you can have a look at on the website now in this particular question you might need to make sure that you read this through very thoroughly uh, because it's quite wordy and it seems to be fairly representative of the way a lot of GCSE questions are going so I hope this video is going to be okay for you um, the issue really is that they're asking us to draw a box plot on this grid paper to represent this information. Now they do give you all the information that you require, however, you've got to be a little bit careful because it tells you the least amount of time is 60 minutes, but then it tells you the range. So in other words, the highest value um, on this particular box plot is going to be 60 plus 230 because we're going to start at 60 which is about um, about here okay and that's that's representative of the 60 mark which is this one here and then we've got the range which is 230 well that means that 60 plus 230 will give me 290 so my maximum amount over here is going to be around about there so this is represented as 60 and this is represented as uh, 290 okay the rest of the information we should be able to plot fairly easily the lower quartile which we have here is 100 so that's going to be this area here the upper quartile is going to be 220, so that's going to be about uh, roughly about here. I'm sorry I'm hesitating a little bit. It's quite difficult on the video, but about here. Um, and I'm going to join that up, and I'm going to create myself a nice box plot like that and then the other thing I need to do is to put in the median value which is at 170 and that's going to be about uh, 150 so that's going to be about there okay so I hope that's okay for you on the video now I'm going to move the paper up you might need to print this out and have a look at it for yourself because the other part of this question is it asks us to compare two box plots um, one for the in this particular case the amount of homework that the boys are doing so this is the box plot for the um, boys no this is the box plot for the girls so if I put that here and this is the box plot for the boys and they're asking us to compare those two pieces of information well um, it's entirely up to you what you use on these sorts of things some people talk about uh, the range which is in this particular case the highest value for instance for the girls is higher than the highest value for the boys however a very good comparison perhaps would be the median value and you can clearly see on this that the median value in other words the middle girl's value of um, the time that she spent on homework is less than the time that the boys spent on homework and you can quote those numbers I think this one here is 170 and this particular one here will be 190 okay so that's one thing that you could use the other thing that you could say is that the range so the girls had a higher Big pardon, the girls had a higher interquartile range. What that means is, is the middle 50% of girls are grouped together. Okay, there's, there's more of them in the middle 50%, whereas in the boys it's a lower 50%. Okay, so there's a couple of different things that you could write into the reasons, and I will add that onto the downloadable worksheet that you can have a look at from the website, and I'll put the link below. Hope that's okay. Look forward to seeing you inside the next video.